Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to build a mine cart. I'd like to build an ore skip car that is self-dumping to dump the waste material from down the bottom of my mine shaft up in behind the collar as I build it up and out. All right, well, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is build some wheels. Okay, this is a six inch pipe. I cut an inch and a quarter here. Now I'll cut out some eight inch circles. Okay, so this is gonna be a, a rear wheel. Um, it's three and a quarter wide. The front wheels are inch and a quarter. I've got this centered up here on this eight inch plate as best I can. I'm gonna weld it on the inside so that I maintain a nice square shoulder on the outside. Okay, now I'll drill a 5 8 hole in it. I'm going to use some 3 quarter shaft for the axle. Okay, so I'll face these two exactly 17 and a half inches long. I'll cut a shoulder in here at one inch um, from the end, and I'll cut it down to 5 8 diameter, and I'll thread this to 5 8 national course. Okay. Alright. We got the other three ends and we'll have us a couple axles. Okay, so I got all the pieces. Um, here are my front wheels, my back wheels. I ordered a set of these uh, bearings off of Amazon for 25 bucks for all four of them. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal for my mine cart. Each one of them comes with an Allen wrench to tighten it up, a uh, three quarter inch bearing. Okay, well I'll get this put together. Okay, so I've got this put together. We'll go ahead and tighten the axle nuts up here. Okay, then I can still adjust these bearings to whatever width I need them and mount them on the mine cart. Okay, so this is the front axle and then we'll Go ahead and put together the back axle. Okay, now I better build some track. Okay, so I built a little jig here to hold a couple pieces of one inch angle iron and a piece of three quarter box tube and we'll make a We'll make some rail out of that. Okay, so I built some rail here. Um, and what I've decided is I've got to figure out, you know, how to build the mine cart so that it dumps. The, the front will run here and I'll have this 16 gauge is what I decided. And the rear wheels are wider to catch another set of tracks as they go up. That'll be just less than 90 degrees. I think that'll work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mock this up and then I'll I'll build a little frame out of two by four and we'll set this all together and I'll probably build just a little mock plywood bottom or, or plywood little mine cart to make sure that all my clearances are right, everything's gonna work the way I want it. Uh, before I commit to, to doing 
doing this uh, in steel. I think that's going to work real good. Okay, so I quickly just uh, fabricated up a little plywood box here. Okay, so this design is loosely based on uh, some plans I found by Charlie Connell on the internet um, for a mine ore skip car that he built as a mine restoration project, I believe, in Arizona. So, anyhow, it, this is kind of a, a, a loose idea. Like I said, I fabricated this out of wood and we're going to stick it on these bearings here and see how it works. Okay, so this is what I put together here. Um, I've got just some 2 by 3s for ties here on this. I think that this will work really good. I'm going to have this uh, this rail sit right on here like that, and we'll uh, we'll screw them down. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. I got a clamp to the table here, supported back here. Let's run it up here and see what happens. Okay, and then right here is where this would start to lift up onto another rail. Hey, you know what? That's about the same height as a, as a 2x4 there. I'm going to put a 2x4 here and just fish plate it on with a little piece of plywood or something on either side. See if that will act as the outside rail for me. I'll be back in a second. See if them will catch that. That'll be perfect. I'll just be able to do this when I actually really build it. Um, maybe even shave a little off and just screw down a piece of angle iron there or something. All right, let's see if I can make this thing work again. There we go. It's almost rubbing the rail there. In fact, it is on that side, so yeah. Let's move the front forward two inches and the back forward four inches. Okay, so I moved everything forward there, two inches here and four inches there. Let's try it out again, see how it works. It actually lifts nicer from the bottom for sure. Oh yeah, that's going to put it in an inverted state. I like how that works. Um, I think that I'll go ahead and cut some parts out of steel. I'm gonna, what I'll build is a, it'll, I'll have a top cut back here some, but I'll box this in with sheet metal so that it's a big tube, so to speak, dump stuff out. All right, I'll get those pieces cut out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this mine card out. Uh, we're going to use the plasma torch. Here we go. Okay, so I've gotten all of the pieces cut now for my mind and uh, I've got them all cleaned up, trimmed up, looking pretty good. Okay, so I'll go ahead and weld this together. And what I'll do is I'll use some magnets to help get everything lined up and put an exact location.
I'm thinking about putting some angle iron on top, and that way I can bolt this off and on. We're just gonna we're just gonna use some quarter inch bolts. I'll find a piece of angle iron to go all the way around there. And Okay, well, I'm at the point now where I need some hardware. I'm going to go to the hardware store and get some quarter inch bolts for this top and some half inch bolts for the wheels. I'm going to weld the head solid here on the inside. wheels on this I want to I want to work some more with the mechanism of how it's going to dump I want to use that wooden thing where it's light this is getting pretty heavy uh, to figure out where to hook my strap on that's going to carry that up uh, or bail for lack of a better word I want to figure out where to properly position that bail okay so I got a, a new hank of rope here I'm going to hook around that mine cart that I've got and uh, we'll toss it up over the top there and pull and we'll pretend that this is a, a bale I'll see if I can remember some of my sailing knots and tie a bow in it there that's a bow okay what I'm trying to determine is where this bale should attach on, on this edge so I'll just drive a couple screws in to kind of keep that in place and I'll, on either side and I'll test this out. I'll get an idea of where exactly it is that I want this to, this to be. Okay, so I did some experiment in there while my camera was charging and I need this strap to sit, or this bale, to sit as low above the tires as I can. And there'll have to be a stop to keep it from wanting to pivot this way and fall off of the track just above the tire so it won't run into them. Okay, what the hole is for is, is that these little, these little bushings I've made, are, they'll fit in there and I'll weld them in place. And then, that way I don't have to worry about this bale cutting the you know, these straps cutting the pin that's going to go through the whole thing holding it. That, those bushings will give a pretty wide support. Okay, so I've got these adjusted up here, held it with some magnets. Um, there, bottom of that strap's right at eight inches, which is the top of the wheel. Both front and back. I'll weld these bushings here on, and then I'll take this off, and when I reassemble this, I'll put a, a washer in there for a spacer, and uh, we'll be in good shape. Okay, now I'm going to work on the, the hinge pin here. Um, I've got some washers that are bored out to 5 8 This is a 5 8 pin here. We'll get it uh, set up and cut to length. 
Okay, so I got this cut short. I got a hole drilled in it. Cotter pin will go in there. All right, I'll get this uh, put together on the back. We'll see how it fits up. We'll figure out how we're gonna put the front together. Okay, and then in the front here, I'm gonna wanna stop. So what I did was I cut some little pieces of angle iron. I'm gonna clamp those. Okay, this is gonna work real good. We'll go ahead and weld them into place. Okay, so that's gonna work real good. That's gonna stop that. I'll go ahead and work on getting this anchored together. Got a couple more pieces of the strap, about 14 inches long, and I just bored a hole through there that um, the shackle will fit into. And uh, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm just gonna tack weld this here on this end so that stays situated. And then here where I drew this line, I'm gonna bend those out to make a kind of an A-frame that'll fit on that. So I'm gonna get this tacked up here really fast. And, uh, using my bionic eyeball, I've got that straight up and down. I'll get a chisel in here to get that start to come apart. Here's a homemade chisel I made out of three bar. It'll work good. Oh, I don't even need to pry it. There we go. Okay. Get a big wide one in there. And then we'll get a press wrench adjusted up on it. Get a lever and we'll see if we can bend it. A little bit more. It looks like it's going to work perfect. Let's try it out. So then I'll be able to weld that right in there. I may even have to narrow it up a skosh just so it fits better. But all right, that's going to work good. Okay, so I finished the mine car. This is a self-dumping ore skip. It looks like I believe will work really well. I'll build a little more rail and uh, fabricate some sort of a head rig. And when the spring here it comes up and the snow melts out in the mountains, I will go ahead and get that installed. So, all right. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.